So today, working on this A9 Bravo valve, Alpha 9 Bravo. So basically, a couple weeks ago, I found it leaking. This is de-energized, by the way. I've already got the wires disconnected. Found it leaking right here in this packing. I tried tightening it up, loosening it, tightening it, but it didn't work. So ended up ordering another one, which I got right here. Basically, all we're going to do is just pull that one out, put the new one in, solenoid on. It's a pretty easy swap. So for anybody that doesn't know, this is an A9 bypass valve, A9B, right? So if we look, this is the high side of our system, right? This is our discharge line that comes off of our separator. Discharge line comes over into our valve, out of our valve into the top of our receivers. So anybody who knows what a headmaster is, that's kind of what I compare this to. This is like a headmaster, right? This is just a low ambient control. So what happens, you can adjust this, right? This has a set of bellows inside where you can adjust this to a pressure. Uh, but typically how I use them is I kind of negate this. I'll stem this all the way out this solenoid, right, this right here, is an electronic close or open. So when it's de-energized, it's closed. When it's energized, it's fully open. So what I'll do is just leave that fully stemmed out, and then I'll use a sensor control on the controllers. I'll program a sensor control in the CPC, and then um, basically I'll set it usually to like 50 degrees ambient where this thing will energize. So when that liquid pressure starts dropping, we're not feeding TXB. So what happens is this energizes, it pulls gas from our discharge and dumps it into the top of our receivers, right? And that way we keep that liquid pressure up. That way we um, can continue to feed and continue to function like normal. All right, I'm gonna wrap this valve. I've already got most of my stuff prepped. Love these bags because I just lay them out like this. I got all my hand tools in the front, all my electronic stuff in the back. So let me wrap this thing and we'll get to burning. All right, as you can see, I got my bucket of rags right here. I'm just gonna wrap this thing real quick. All right, the biggest thing we're trying to do is just protect those internal. There are like gaskets and O-rings and diaphragms and whatnot. We don't want to overheat those. Personally, I just like using a good old fashioned wet rag. I tried the, uh, the wet rag stuff and the other heat blocking compounds. Personally, I'm not much of a fan. Um, I think it's just more work than what it's worth. Now this is pretty fucking simple. Uh, it's been tried and screwed. It's pretty simple. Right, so that's about all I'm looking for. Just like that. Got it damp. All right, let me talk to you all about this tip real quick. So, I use a number 30. I don't know if you can see the numbers. But this is a rosebud. I use a number 30 rosebud, I call this my all-in-one tip. I use this on everything from quarter inch to, hell, inch of five. I have a lot of help with my all-in-one tip right here. And it will, it'll burn a little bit of everything. Obviously, you know, you, you do have to be careful when you're doing like quarter inch and stuff like that, because you will uh, burn it.
closer look. it's all pulled into that cup though that's what I'm talking about trying to get it all inside that cup that's really what I'm worried about these little divots and whatnot not worried about I know I got that solid in there so, I'm gonna clean up my stuff real quick and then uh, we'll go to the controller so we can look at kind of how I control these all right so unfortunately well I guess not really unfortunately but I have one of my young guns calling me for some tech support uh, so I, I ended up doing a bunch of stuff off camera but Basically, I got, so I got this all put together, put the date on there, right, I was always taught, put the date on, leak checked it, made sure we were good, pulled a quick vacuum on it, just, just this, from this ball valve to this ball valve, so we're good, right, and then I forgot kind of where it connected to, so I've got my wires coming out, and it connected to an orange wire and a white wire, ended up following them all the way down, the white wire comes over here to my neutral bar, Right, and then my orange wire was coming all the way down through here, through this knockout right here, and it was going into this pressure control. And if you look, this pressure control is over here on my liquid line, essentially. It's taking liquid line temperature, right? So when this would drop below a certain temperature, this liquid line, it would energize that bypass valve, okay? came back on brown and it went up to this little KR block, right? So what I did, I took this out, I put it on a board, right? I have boards right here. These are old, these are old CPC boards, just straight eight RO boards. Um, I had one spare point without a fuse. So I don't even know if this point's good, but I'm gonna try it. Um, but so, what I'm doing is I found that this was a constant hot, right? So I took this brown wire, ran it into my point, and then took my orange wire, which goes back to my valve, right? And then I came over here to my controller, and I made an analog sensor control, and I labeled it Rack A, A9B, right? That's what that is. That's your A9B bypass valve. Okay, so I came in here, um, and I'll just show you, right, so rack A, A, 9B, there's one input sensor, my input sensor, I've got it as my outdoor ambient temperature, because that's what I want that to cycle on and off of, is when it gets too cold outside and that head pressure starts to drop. I've got it cut in at 45, so once it hits 45 degrees, that valve is going to energize, and it's going to energize 100%. As you can see, I've got this stem all the way back out, right? So that stems all the way open. So when this thing energizes, it's going to be 100% through. Cut out at 55, right? And a lot of these numbers where I'm getting them from, oh man, I thought there was, a lot of the times we'll have like PT charts on the racks. This was probably a retro, so they didn't put it on there. Or maybe it's always been 404, but it just doesn't have it. But these temperatures I'm getting from a PT chart, right? So. 150, uh, 150 pounds converted is basically what I'm doing. Which I'm, I'm pretty sure that's close. And then my outputs, that's that board 6.8. I can, I'll have to redo that. I don't like how that looks. Right, and that's it. So what I want to do is right now, it's showing it's 81 degrees out, 81.75, which this is rounded it up. 82 so that's correct right so I want to take this I'm already logged in 
I want to bypass it on. Whoops. Enter. Three for override. And override, yes. And let's go. Okay, so now we're on. So now if we come over here. Oh, there we go. I got my red light on right there. Right? And if I check continuity. Uh, boom, I've got continuity. So this relay works, which is great. So now the last thing I'm gonna do is just hook up my hot. I'm gonna turn it off, hook up my hot, and then we'll try it again. Okay. So I hooked up that wire here, right, which is my 120 hot. So on this brown wire down here on my point, I should have 120 volts. All right, let's try to get the ground. Oh, change these volts. All right, I got my 120. And I labeled that right there, A9B, that's board 6.8, okay? So now I want to test to make sure that the solenoid actually works. So how I do that, I put my meter to amps, clamp that solenoid. Come on, baby. Get on there, honey. There we go. Okay, and you can see zero amps, right? Now we come over here, we're gonna override it to on again. Right? And boom, I've got amperage, so I know that my solenoid is energizing. So that's it, I'm done. So just a quick recap. A9 valve was uh, leaking out of that stem. So came through, put a new valve in, re-ran the wiring, set up the program, tested it. Remember, set, check, confirm. That's how we want to do it. You want to set up it, set up your program, check your program, confirm your program. Set, check, confirm. That's how I do it every single time. You do that, you'll take care of a lot of mistakes before they start affecting anybody. So last thing I'll do is take this out of override. But that's it. Uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe. Let me know if y'all want to see anything else. Later.